Okay, today we're gonna to talk about pH. pH is a scale um, that tells us <clears throat> how much hydronium ion is present in an acidic or basic solution. The hydronium ion is also known as the hydrogen ion. So you will see me use those two terms interchangeably. So H plus and H3O plus are the same thing when we talk about acids and basics. The pH scale, if you recall from your reading, is between 1 and 14, although it can be more on either side, but the basic scale is 1 to 14. The pH of less than 7 is an acid, pH that is neutral is water, and the pH that is greater than 7 is a base. We use logarithms, which you've already learned about a little bit in your math classes. Um, to calculate the pH. If you recall, logarithm tells us the power that a number is raised to or its exponent. We will only be using base 10. Therefore, it's the power of 10. So an example, a basic example of logarithm is what is the log of 1 times 10 to the third? Well, if it's the power of, the, of 10, then the answer is 3. So again, a logarithm, when you do the log of a number, it's just the power of the number that's being raised, so in this case, the power of 10. All right, so now what, we have some equations. These are in your reference packet, so you don't have to memorize them. Um, the first you want to look at are how to find pH and pOH. Now, pOH is the opposite of pH, okay? Um, so pH is equal to the negative log of hydrogen ion, and pOH is equal to the negative log of hydroxide ion. So if we use the idea we just learned about logarithms, take the <clears throat> negative log of our hydrogen concentration. So the log means what's the power of 10? Well, that's negative 4. The negative means change the sign. So the pH here would be 4. Now a little bit about significant figures and pH. The number of significant figures in your concentration is the number of places to the right of the decimal you need in your pH. I'll say that again in the next problem. So for this one, what's the pH of a concentration of hydrogen ion, which is equal to 4.5 times 10 to the minus 7? Well, this one we can't really do in our head. But I do know that it needs to be close to whatever the power of 10 is. So it's going to be close to 7. So we pick up our calculators, and we literally type in exactly what it says. If you have a graphing calculator, you type it in exactly the way it says, negative, and hit the log button. And then you do the, X, the concentration, 4.5, and I'm going to use that EE button, times 10 to the minus 7. And we get 6.35. So why two places past the decimal? Again, the number of places past the decimal has to be equal to the number of significant figures in the concentration. All right, we can do the same thing for hydroxide. That's the negative log of the hydroxide concentration. So what's the log of this? Negative 9. The negative means make change the sign. So the pOH here is 9. And we record it as 9.0 because there was one significant digit. The last problem in this section, we want to know what the pOH is of a concentration of 6.8 times 10 to the minus 3. So I notice this is going to be something near 3. So again, I plug in my calculator, negative, log. 6.8, the EE -E button, negative 3. And then we get 2.17. Again, two places past the decimal because there were two significant figures in the concentration. All right, at this point, I want you to pause the video and complete the practice problems. And then when you have tried them all, then turn the video back on, and I will reveal the answers. Okay, so the answers to the first set of practice problems are as follows. If you got the answers correct, you, do, you can fast forward to the next section. You don't have to listen to me go over them. So the first problem, the um, negative log of 1 times 10 to the minus 6 gives us 6. It is 6.0 because the um, concentration was one 
significant figure. So again, that's negative log of 1 times 10 to the minus 6, which is a 6.0. So then for number 2, we do negative log of 2.1 times 10 to the minus 3, and that we get 2.68. Again, two, two digits past the decimal because there were two significant figures. For number three, we did negative log 6.2 times 10 to the minus 10. And we got 9.21. Again, 9.21 because there were two significant figures in the concentration. And we did the exact same thing for part two, negative log of 1 times 10 to the minus 8 gives us 8.0 and then the negative log of 3.1 times 10 to the minus 5 gives us 4.51 again two places because of two second figures and then the negative log of 7.6 times 10 to the minus 11 gives us 10.21. Again, two places because of two significant figures. All right, so the next section, we're going to go the other direction. We're going to calculate the concentration. Calculate the concentration, you're just going to do the inverse log. The inverse log is 10 to the, that is quite literally on your graphing calculator, the second function button and then log. You'll see it says 10 to the x and either blue or yellow depending on what your second function button color is. So you'll do your second function button, your log, and then negative pH. Okay? Um, that doesn't work. I tried that. <clears throat> so we're just going to do 10 to the, and the negative pH for hot hydrogen concentration. 10 to the negative pOH for hydroxide concentration. So for number one, we're going to do 10 to the negative 6.1. And when we do that, again we do second function button, log button, and then you do negative 6.1. And you get 7.94 times 10 to the minus 7. But for correct significant figures, because our pH has one place past the decimal, our concentration can only have one significant figure. So we 8 times 10 to the minus 7. And because we are finding concentration, it has the unit of molarity. Alright, so for number 2, we're going to do the same thing for hydroxide. Again, since we have this one place past the decimal, we get only one significant figure. So we're going to do 10 to the negative 2.1. So we do second function button, log button, negative 2.1. And here we get 0 0.008 molar. Okay. You could also write that as 8 times 10 to the minus 3 because we move that decimal 1, 2, 3 places. Okay. So at this point, I'd like for you to stop and pause the video and complete the practice problems in this section and then you can come back and check your answers when you're done. Alright, the answers to section two, oh, sorry, section three we're on, um, are as follows. Number 1, 2 times 10 to the minus 4, 6 times 10 to the minus 10, 2 times 10 to the minus 12, 3 times 10 to the minus 6, 3 times 10 to the minus 9, and 3 times 10 to the minus 14. Okay. Again, if you got these correct, fast forward to the next section. Otherwise, you can listen to me go walk through the problems until you understand. So for number 1, to find the concentration, we did 10 to the negative 3.8, which is how we got... 2 times 10 to the minus 14. Again, one place after the decimal becomes one significant digit in the concentration. And the concentration must have a unit. Number 2, we do 10 to the negative 9.2.
and we get yeah, 6 times 10 to the minus 10. And then number 3, 10 to the negative 11.7. And we get 2 times 10 to the minus 12. And then the next section is the same way. 10 to the negative 5.6. And 10 to the negative 8.5. And 10 to the negative 13.6. And that's how we get all of those answers. Again, that is the second function button. First. And then the log button and then the um, concentration, okay? Alright, next we're going to talk about how we switch between pH and pOH. Since the pH scale goes from 1 to 14, the pH plus the pOH is equal to 14. So we have to use that concept in solving the problems. So for number 1, we have the hydrogen concentration being 6.1 times 10 to the minus 6. Well, we want to find the pOH. Now note, H, O, H, they don't match. If I have the hydrogen concentration, I can find the pH by taking the negative log of the concentration. So if I do that, I plug in my calculator, negative log, and then 6.1, the EE button, negative 6, I get 5.21. Again, two significant figures because of the two significant figures in the concentration. But that's the pH. To get the pOH, I have to do 14 minus 5.21. So I put that in my calculator and I get 8.79 would be the pOH. Likewise, if I have a hydroxide concentration and I want the pH, again, they don't match. First, I find the pOH with the hydroxide concentration by taking the negative log. And when I do that, I get 4.07. Again, two places at the decimal because the two significant figures in the concentration. But that's the pOH. To get the pH, I have to take 14 minus that. So 14 minus 4.07 gives me 9.93 as my answer. All right, so I want you to pause the video, do the practice problems, and when you're done, we'll come back and show the answers. Answers are 10.65, 5.93, 4.79, and 2.98. If you got those correct, you can fast forward to the question for tomorrow. Otherwise, you can stay tuned and I'll go over these answers. <clears throat> so for number one, we have the hydroxide concentration, but we want the pH. So for the hydroxide concentration, we'll first find the pOH by taking the negative log of 4.5 times 10 to the minus 4. And for that we get 3.35. And so to get my answer I have to take 14 minus 3.35 and that's how I get 10.65. Same thing with number 2. I take the pOH. You get the pOH by taking the negative log of 8.5 times 10 to the minus 9, and for that I get 8.07. To get my final answer, I have to take 14 minus 8.07, and that's how we get 5.93. So for the second part, same thing, only this time we got to find the pH first, so we're taking the negative log of the hydrogen concentration, which was 6.2, times 10 to the minus 10, and we get 
to get the pOH, I'm going to take 4 T minus 9.21, and we get 4.79. For the last problem, same thing, we have to find the pH first because we have hydroxide concentration. So the negative log of 9.5 times 10 to the minus 12, and we get Eleven point oh two to get the pOH. We're going to take fourteen minus eleven point oh two, and that is how we get two point nine eight. All right. So the question for tomorrow, I would like for you to come in and be able to answer for me is, what is the hydrogen concentration of a solution that has a hydroxide concentration of seven point three one times ten to the minus five molar? You can use all the concepts we talked about today. You can use your reference packet, okay, and come tomorrow with a way to solve this problem.